Good evening and welcome back to Mind Over Magic. My name is Pooks and tonight I'm going to continue on our stream here. Uh, last one was cut off a little bit uh, suddenly. Sorry about that. Uh, when, when guests show up, you've got no choice, right? But to say hi and uh, say bye to you guys. So that's that was a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, but we're back. We're back and we're ready to have some fun. <clears throat> uh, I'd also like to say just quickly, thank you to all the new subs on YouTube. Um, it's really great when, you know, I come back from a, a bit of a break and I start posting content and people are subscribing to the channel. So that's a wonderful thing in my book. So where I last breaked, we haven't done too much in the meantime, or I haven't done too much in the meantime. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this was already built, our Atelier as well. So, Atelier? Atelier. Uh, it, it sounds French. It's workshop, basically. It's a fancy name for workshop. Uh, I've, I've pretty much finished off a fight, I'm pretty sure, and where we were, we were down here, and we've got to go do some more stuff from here. <clears throat> so, we have Mike up here. Mike, we've, he's got the Earth Wand 3. We want to um, potentially recruit him. I'm still not sure. I'm a little still on the fence, to be honest. We do have Lorelei, who's got the Tier 5 and Nature, uh, which replaced one of our dudes. Um, and, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of happy there. I don't know. Uh, I mean, Mike, he's got a lot of power, right? Got a lot of power. So far hasn't died, um, but who is it? It's, it's Isidore, no, is it Wolf, Nevia, Sonia, no. Ah, that's right, Sylvia, Sylvia has the, uh, the tier four, a lot more health, right? A lot more health compared to Mike here, uh, cause he's just shattered and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What else does Sylvia get? Um... And her power's not bad either, is the thing. It's just that they're not amazing at uh, at earth magic and doesn't get that extra spell. The quake spell is pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards we hire Mike. Then we've got Natalia, uh, Octavia, and Pranus, who are all pretty much ready to go uh, and graduate. <clears throat> they won't be doing so, of course, uh, because they've got things to do first. So, I don't know, does he have any other quests? Um, go dancing or defeat a four skull higher enemy while rested and that'll give nature cap. If he was a nature mage, I'd be down for that, but he's not. And a four skull, it'll be a, uh, that'll be a tough fight, I think. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to send them all down to continue to explore the dungeon. I, I want to keep going, basically. I want to keep, I want to keep things happening here. So we've got our teacher, nature teacher, we've got Mike up front who's going to be our tank, we've got an air dude and a fire dude. So that should be pretty good. We'll fill our mantle before battle. We might grab an earth guardian just in case and uh, we'll grab a couple of recharges and a couple of rejuves. We may not use them, I just want to have them on hand for the battle and I'm just going to speed up as well, I had it paused before. But yeah, I want to make this stream the clearing stream, right? Where we, we clear out some of these this stuff. I'm also kind of curious to know, can we can we put a mana land into Oh, we can. Hmm. That's tempting, right? <clears throat> it's very tempting because it's a long way down at the moment. A long, long way down. I mean, they grab mana on the way down, but if I do another one back to back... Oh, we have a, ch a chest smasher. Yeah, we need to we need to set up someone to take care of this. It's a two skull one. Um, well, uh, marigold, uh, Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia. There we are. Um, you know, Sonia and uh, Navia. You know that that should be sufficient. They can wander off to get the chef smasher as well. Did I say chess then or chef? Ch a chef smasher, known as the uh, the torso is always known as the chef. Hmm. 
Oh, no research selected as well. We've just uh, done Quill Lightning. So uh, I think that might be pretty close to having learned everything we can learn. We can do this stuff. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with uh, getting really posh for now. And we'll continue on with there. Um, oh, yep. Let's get that chest smasher. All right, so straight away we want to chuck up some earth armor, get that tooled off, get some health stacking. And then we're going to start off with a flame lash and just take this guy out. He gone. He gone like Donkey Kong. Yep. That's the reason why we do that. Uh, the thingy. Uh, I think he'll survive for long enough, so I'm going to go with a shadow cloak. And then we might just haste this dude. Alright, so 75, Tentacle Lash. He'll get to attack twice this round as well. Uh, we'll keep the Earth Armor up so nobody gets hurt and they don't need to go to the Healing Ward. We can, um, we can go for a win on the Fireball. Yes, crit! Which means that whoever's up next is going to take him out. Dunsky. Yes, smash it down. And we get some... Oh! I, I swear that victory music was new. Maybe I've just never noticed it before. Should have let it run for a bit so everyone else could hear it. But oh well. Uh, so what we got? We got stri stri Strigi eye. Uh Anyway, it's uh, Inflex Restless. Uh, I really wanted him to be able to go far... First, hmm, all right. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm, Yeah, that might be painful. Um, because these guys are gonna go for my front rank, and my other dude is a nature one, I think. Um. Hmm. Well, we might as well get some use out of them. Get some vengeance up. And then... No, I'm thinking a... Uh, a surging strength, maybe. Yeah. All right, they've attacked this guy. That's that's okay. We can throw up an earth armor on our guy that we want to take the hits now. And then we can hasten an ally for two rounds. So I'm actually going to do my nature person so they can cast start spamming out some growths, right? So that's really what I want. I'm going to go growth here. Ah, it's annoying. Yep, alright, Retribution. Uh, yeah, I was hoping for that, but we'll Vine Lash them around. Uh, we'll... Yeah, that was a bad move in the end, because then we're just going to Fireball this guy down, and he's dead, right? And I'm no longer going to get the benefit of Thorns. But I can Thorn them now. I'm going to attack our dude here, he's going to be fine. Got plenty of armor. Uh, we'll keep that going so he gets the taunt uh, or keeps that taunt going. And then we might just multi strike this guy to death. And then we're going to go with the fireball, and just in case we can get that crit, which we don't, that's unfortunate. We'll go growth so that we can get some thorns up. He's going to attack there. We'll get the retaliation. Uh, we're going to go Hulk Smash. And then... I might just Shield of Wind myself. I don't know if, it, if the... Uh, uh, you need to pass. I'm going to try to avoid using potions just because I don't need to. Oh yeah, you are going to hit him. That's good. And then Hulk Smash again. And that's the fight done. So we did take some damage, that's unfortunate, but it's not too bad, and yeah, we don't have the things that I really want, but someone needs medical rest, so we're just going to have to take a 
take a chill pill right at the second and go let let them rest. We still only have a T1 uh, an infirmary, all right? So if we want to make that better and bigger, uh, we want a hospital ward. That's an extra 10, 5% per hour, right? We need like a lot of incense burners, tincture shelves, and medicinal carts. Also needs to be have a huge window, be private and lofted. So lofted just means taller than it is wider, but you have to stick a lot of stuff in it. So that's probably going to mean that it is going to need to be fairly wide. Um, which is where I'm thinking maybe if we if we ch chucked it over here on top of all the, the kind of the staff bedroom sort of area, then maybe that's an option because I'm trying to put all my classrooms here. Uh, if we didn't need to have, well, we don't need this dining hall. We don't necessarily need that as a bedroom either. We could just remove the floor. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. So we've got Sylvia and who? Uh, Isadora and Sil Sylvia, right? So we're going to chuck them over here. Uh, Sylvia and Isadora. Right? Okay. So that's their new bedroom. We don't need the staff dining room anymore. So we're going to go... Go demolish these, please. We'll keep those windows. Oh, uh, wait. You know what? We will keep them up. Why not? I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. Uh, actually, no. We're just gonna. Just gonna demolish the whole thing, right? I'm kind of curious to know, can we can we keep that door and keep it private? I don't know. We'll find out. Right, that should be... Yep, there we are. You're getting rid of that. Cool. We're now going to demolish these guys. Yeah, I think we do need to get... Oh. Get rid of you as well. Oh no, it's still considered private. Even though it has a door halfway up. Ha! Huh. But it is now lofted. Which means, can we fit everything in here? Uh, so we need medical beds. Where are we? Here. One and two, and then we need like a whole heap of carts and more incense places. So, medicinal cart. I need more honey drop. Okay, we need to kind of stop eating it then, I suspect, but I think we can harvest a whole heap of extra over here. Um, and I might just you know, put the honey stir fried on hold, people. Sorry. And we'll go tell them to harvest over here. Okay, just I can unpause. Um so incense burner, right? Can we can we get a few more of these bad boys? Locked by medical bed. But I could put down a bed there, but okay. Yep. Um going to disintegrate that window too. I might even disintegrate that one. And then we're going to build a lighting way wise. We're going to go a huge window, right? Because it needs one apparently. Uh, furniture wise, let's go find incense burner. There we are. So one, two. All right. Apparently, you could build them first, and then that's okay. But if... All right. Um, 
Go look at those requirements again. We need private lobster tincture shelf and medicinal carts. So medicinal cart, we can go one here and we'll do another one there. Tincture shelf. I kind of want to put it up here near the door. Like, yeah, we just reach around the corner. Um, we'll go, like, here. To just cover that floor, I think it is. And another one up here. No, oh, we need more spore cap. Okay. Let's go find some spore cap to harvest. There we are. Spore cap harvest. Go and harvest it, please. Let's make that a uh, bit of a higher priority. I think it might be need to be at night or something that that's harvested. So we might not be able to do this immediately. We'll go harvest some from the other side as well. See, I knew there was going to be a reason. I don't like the look of this, to be honest. Uh, okay, we can put them up higher. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do that. Uh, we'll move you be kind of eclectic heights here. Can we move you to be like here? Yeah. And then you to be at least one up. There we are. I feel like this will be a, you know, a bit more atmosphere to the room being at different heights and that sort of thing. Um, the shattered are currently performing worse at battle. So we can't really do that. Uh, oh, look, Mike's Mike's leveled up. So Mike's challenge was, I believe, to survive this wing, but he's, he's going to perform worse in battle. So they're going to receive no armor, and which is his big compensation for um, having uh, bugger roll health, is that they slowly generate armor as they go along throughout the fight. So I'm not too keen to actually put him into a battle just at the moment when he's disadvantaged like that. So we might see if we can wait for that buff to or debuff to uh, despawn. Uh, I'm going to set that as a thing. I think I might need more of those soon. And what was the other thing that we needed here? Oh wait, tincture shelf, yep, spore cap and eyeballs, cool. Uh, you know, just the, just the regular stuff. Ah, we got a trial completed as well. That's cool. So, um, they just want to be a soloist now. We could potentially do that. You know, fulfill their dreams. Uh, so yeah, the, the final thing was the, uh, the honey cap stuff, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, honey drop we need. Uh, did we end up harvesting all that honey drop? Um, yeah, we did. We did. And now the other thing that I seem to be maybe soft locked on, and we don't know yet, was the little root thing. And I'm not seeing anything new there. Uh, and I'm not seeing a little dude there. I'm just seeing crowers. Oh, well, if we are, then we are. Uh, we might actually find what we need down here is kind of what I'm hoping for there. But that's okay. Um, it's in early access. You can, you can expect those sort of things. Or I feel like you should. If you don't expect those sort of things where, you know, potentially there's something even great game breaking in early access, then what are you doing playing an early access game? All right, so I'm going to rotate this one so that it's kind of in the middle here rather than just put all my sort of tinctures at the end here. I could put them here. That would make logical sense, but I kind of want to spread it out. I don't want to just fill up the foreground with that. So that should do it pretty well. Um, one tincture shelf and an additional cart. So once these are built, then we should have a proper hospital world, which will help when, uh, yeah, when people start start really hurting. Good. 
Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. We've got the worst possible guy to do construction. There we are, hospital ward. Okay, it looks a little bit cleaner. And slightly lighter seems to be the thing. Like before it was kind of the the hospital ward, uh, you know, during maybe the rena renaissance when you really didn't want to trust a doctor back then. You know, that's the sort of treatment that you were getting beforehand. Uh, now we've got more modern era, right? So it's maybe during the early 1900s. You're still probably going to die of an infectious d disease or bacteria or something, but it's... Um, it's, it's slightly nicer surroundings. It's it's less likely to be hi poor hygiene related, shall we say. Anyway, okay. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? We want to keep fighting, but the Shattered is still bad. Um, but I still want to go with the Mike challenge. So, Mike, you've got an extra challenge is what I'm going to say here. I think he deserves to be hired if uh, if he survives this one, right? That that would seem to be the go. See, we've got this fire student that's fire one, two, but the level five fire, but I don't want to hire them because they've got really bad power. Anyway, uh, air, and I believe it was Lorelei was backing them up as well in the back row. So we're going to give him an Earth Guardian because we know that he's not going to get the extra buffs. Um, a couple of recharges and a couple of rejuves. Let's go. So what we might end up doing is just using that potion on Mike on his first turn so that he gets a little bit of extra armor off the bat. He'll also get the taunt and then he should be pretty good for the rest of the fight depending on what we're up against. It's only a two skull fight so... So you would hope that he's going to be okay. Sorry, I had to take a sippy sippy there. Um, it wasn't dramatic pause. It was uh, thirsty pause. Hmm. <clears throat> do do do. Boom boom. does take a while for them to get downstairs. I wish they could like build an elevator or something or improvements to rooms to get the speed of people coming up and down. That would be a nice quality of life feature. Okay, so he's going to go a little bit later in the piece. So in the meantime, we've got two people who are going to attack. We've got a Lantern Keeper. They're going to go against the strongest enemy and kind of steal some power off him, all right? And then you're just going to do the relentless part of it. So, but immediately what we can do... And they're going to attack all enemies. So that's... Yeah, they're going to be problematic. So we're going to take one of those out straight away. We do not want them uh, hanging around. The next thing that I'm going to do is a growth on this guy. Yep. Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want to see. He's dead. Oh, is he dead or is unconscious? All right. So unconscious is... I don't want to say okay because it's really not, but... Um... Yeah. This is disappointing. So I'm going to chuck a shield of wind. He's got to tank a little bit of stuff. I was expecting him to have his turn beforehand, but okay. Uh, so, we're going to have to fireball there. What I should have done just now. I'm going to vine lash these guys. Oh, it didn't drag him forward? Alright, yeah, ow. So what I might do is use that Guardian Potion on him so he gets some armor. And then what am I thinking next? I'm thinking we haste up our Growth Lady. She can cast some Thorns up twice. So we can go straight away for the Lantern Keeper. 
And then we're gonna fireball the Lander Keeper and just hope. No, no crit, but maybe the Thorns will do a bit of damage. And we'll Thorn this one up as well. So, took it on the armor. Nice. And then we're gonna just multi-strike you into oblivion. Why didn't that work properly? Okay. It's, uh... Since we're potioning... Oh, Mike! Mike, you're so disappointing! Anyway. Um... I'm heartbroken. Heartbroken, Mike. And growth. I'm hoping the thorns take him out. We'll body strike this guy. Ah, oh, and the thorns didn't get him, but we can just fireball him to death. All right. So that wasn't great because Mike was down for the count. To be fair to Mike, he had a disadvantage. So, um... Ah, oh, I'm not sure. See, I'm not sure on that basis. I want Mike because he can harvest those thorn dudes without them eating him. But I also kind of... Oh yeah, we're just going to get rid of those. Cool. Get rid of the, those meals. And I'm going to cancel the repair. Because really I don't see the point of having a pantry down here. That's twice though that I've seen a pantry. So, I don't know, maybe there is an advantage to having a pantry down there. Oh, has this been a... Yeah, this has been changed, the art. Ah. Yes, yeah, speedy, speedy. Heat wave simmers, all right. Yep, cool. This is one of the cool things about early access games that I find is that, you know, things do change, things get upgraded like this. I'm pretty sure that's not how it showed up before. And then it's balance improvements and all that jazz. Um, okay. So, once these guys are out of medical rest, which should be their top priority, sure. Oh, no, I haven't. Yeah. I'm just going to make that critical. Guys, you you got to you got to sleep when you hurt. That's th that's the rules. Them's the rules. And you got 20 HP, all right? Is that because he died? Once. I thought he had 30. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just the Shattered Worse. Yeah, he's got four out of death saves. Oh, he gets a trauma as well. Can we, can we get that trauma off him? I think we might be able to do that with a ritual. Let's uh, find the Book of Rituals. There we are, down here. Open her up. And uh, full heal. Yep. We need someone with a... How do we cure traumas? Apparently, we can't just cure trauma. Much like modern medicine. <laughs> PTSD is... um Cannot be overcome. All right. Um, so... What's that mean? Yeah, less HP and 10 less conviction. Um, so he's just a little bit underconfident now. And he's weak. He's teeny tiny and fragile. I have to say that is an, a further disincentive to uh, hire Mike. I am honestly thinking that um, we might just graduate him and have to make another another T3 Earth Wand and do up a new student. Um, it's it's the wrong archetype for a, for a thing. We'll go with a gifted student if we can. Um, 
Yeah, we want one of those. So how do we get one of those again? What are we missing? One crafting wise, we want an earth wand. Three. But we're missing the ignium. All right, I'm going to remove that one first and just change the priority. Um, I'm going to say do until X. So for Ignium, we do that up at our Beetle up here. So he's got an order to keep going, but to do that, we need Thorntooth. Of course we do. Um... Yeah, so we're stuffed for a gifted... Uh, no, we're stuffed for that tier of wand. Ah, no. All right. Um, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, so we can't... We need a trap door vine seed. Can we... Uh, yeah, can we like... So, we might have hit a problem. Okay, but it's fine. We're going to work around. We're going to do something around this, right? It's, um, we're going to dig deeper is our solution here. Dig deeper with substandard students and staff and just hope. Okay, so this guy's gotten better. How long until this is gone? You know what, in the meantime, while Mike recovers, he is excused because I want to keep clearing. I don't want to just make a mo mountain out of this molehill. And in his place, Sylvia. Sylvia is going to, you know, take her rightful place as the Earth Mage about town. Uh, and off you go, guys. I'm thinking I need to recruit Mike now because I may not have another bloody chance at this. <laughs> at a T3 wand. In fact, I'm just going to go back on these. Because I might want like another T3 wand soon. And it will be sad if I end up using all my resources on wands that I don't need. Um, so who's the fire one? Yeah, Natalia, I think, can graduate. So we just go here. Graduate. Natalia. Well done. Goodbye. Okay. So, he's going to get a double, ooh, extra chance here. So, I'm thinking oh, we go with Vengeance then. And then, I'm going to, I'm just going to try for the crits. Those crits are quite good if you get them. Uh, I'm going to growth this one up. And then, see, it's fast enough to, uh, to go straight for the Earth Armor before it becomes a problem. Ow. Yeah. So AOE sucks. Um, so we're going to chuck a haste there as well then. So you'll get your fireball. Hopefully a crit. No, didn't get it. I'm going to vine lash these guys around. So we can focus fire this guy a bit, ideally. You're going to use your recharge potion. That was a waste of type of potion for it as well. And I think I'm going to get rid of the fairy guy. Have a growth attack. Keep your earth armor up. And then I'll multi strike you to death. And then, yeah, greater damage potential is fireball. It's 50 50 shot that we get it. We'll try again. There we are. 
Got the crit. Grab the growth on that. The next thorns will kill it no matter what. But the smash will do it too. And we have a winner. Uh, we get some phoenix flower. That's nice. Honey gruel. Stone. Uh, people need medical rest apparently. So we'll wait for them to be healed up. And then we'll keep pushing forward. We shall see what's at the bottom of this. I'm thinking I do get maybe another water student though. That's what I was thinking. We'll get a water wand up and running. They can start training. It's just a T2, so it's not going to waste the precious, precious Ignium. And we might cull the rats on this side as well. Come on. Let me double click. Let me double click. Tricky rats. And you know what? Why not the crower too? We'll, we'll wipe them out. Okay. We've got Quinton. Quinton wants... Has a decent amount of power. It is a raven, dude. Um, so what do we got? You want to eat? Yeah, I like eating too, man. Cast while rested. Pass a learning stone. Oh, we do have a possible break risk. What's wrong with you, man? You've got a rash. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, you want to sleep? Possible, yep. Yeah. All right, so basically you're tired. Where are you? You should go sleep then, man. I can uh, I can appreciate being tired too. Yeah, they suffer a trauma after breaking as well, so I can totally see that that on the higher difficulty could make things just go downhill real quick. Having said that, they're in like they're in the nice bed. You're in the real nice bed, the canopy bed. You should be happy, man. Uh, are they my night staff, though? I think they might have been on my night staff and I woke them up during this sleep cycle. Yeah, so they've got tasks and everything. So it's probably just bad timing as to when I... Um, when I sent them into battle. All right, you're up. You're gonna do some stuff. I hope, I hope you're not just going down. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're doing, you're doing the good stuff. Gonna make a wand. Sure. What's your schedule at the moment? I want you to go eat soon. All right. Yeah, it's time to eat. Where the hell are you going, man? Uh, see, that's a problem. What's your contents, man? I don't want you to have bitter stir fry or to have honeyed stir fry. Because that means that they're going to go there and eat as opposed to go to this nice large dining room just made for them, right? All right, Lorelei's conviction though, it's still not great. Uh, what's the schedule? They're gonna they're gonna go recreate and sleep, so I might wait until about here in the time sort of zones uh, until I wake them up again. Mind you, we got new we got new stuff too. Let's go check it out. So where's the new thing? Oh man, did I just is it the visionary large rug? It is a very large rug. 
I thought that was like a huge ornate. Oh yeah. If we put that in the kitchen. That feels like a good thing. Yeah, we'll chuck it in the kitchen. It's probably entirely unnecessary. In fact, I'm certain that it is entirely unnecessary, but one thing in its favor is the kitchen, you get a bit of mess. Uh, so creating a mess on a rug just seems like a great idea in a kitchen, right? Am I right? No, of course I'm not. But um, <laughs> mainly what I'm thinking here is that that will be, um, when the mess gets created, it will be less of an issue. And it actually kind of uh, ma matches and clashes in a kind of a weird way, right? Kind of a weird way. So Lorelai's, yeah, their conviction target is now 69. They're getting some sleep. They've had some food. They had a bit of recreation. They're still craving it a little bit, but okay. Um, how did you not have a, your, yeah, you're sleeping because you're going to, but you had recreation before you went to bed, man. Why you no properly rec recreate? It might be that it's, maybe it's too far to wander to the, no, it's not. It's here. This is this is reserved for you guys, with your multicolored rugs and everything. Class delayed for teacher manor. Yeah, that that does happen. Although to be fair, it's like there's no manor lantern over here, so that could be that could be improved. Anyway, the other thing that we got was a new lightning thing. So it's a large stained glass window. Um. Yeah, so it's just a taller version. Cool. Cool story, bro. It'd be nice. Can we change the color of these? Yeah, it'd be nice if, you know, it's all red. What if I wanted a blue one to match the blue kitchen? In fact, most of the time, the background art seems to be like red in here would work, right? Red in this, not so much. In fact, yeah, I can't see too many places where the red really works. Maybe in, like, the Mages Tower. That looks kind of cool, right? I really love the moving wallpaper. Like, how did that, they not have that in Harry Potter? If you had wallpaper and things that could move on paper, why would no, this not be your first thing? Like, what if, oh, oh, like a baby's mobile? Instead, you have wallpapers of mobiles. They look at it and go, hee hee hee. Anyway, just my, that's my rant over. Uh, we're done. Let's let's move on to go wax some more stuff. All right, so we're gonna go Earth Guardian again. We're running a little bit low. Uh, a greater, a greater. But I'm also going to grab a, just a general sort of one, smaller ones. So I'm not uh, disinclined to use them because that's kind of what's happening at the moment is that using up the greater reju potions just feels like a bit of a waste when the mana pool doesn't really support it. I'm going to have much more powerful mages um, or magi. Magi, is that the right word? Uh, look, we can mine this for a rug. Somehow a rug comes out of a stone. Um, let's run over there. Cool. I mean, I, I get that it's a magic stone, but a rug? Really? I'm a working on the rug mine. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, that, that, that could be a song. It could not be a song, too. Yeah. All right. Well, how are we doing for time? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and keep this episode to about an hour this time, um, just for purely arbitrary reasons. Okay. So, got these guys. We've got an AOE that we want to take out sooner. He can get his shield up though, so that's good. I'm thinking that. The way that I want to go here is Flame Lash. Yep. I'm gonna go for the, the maximum damage sort of potential. Uh, I'm gonna then Vine Lash these guys so I can do a swapsies. You can Earth Armor. 
Now, unfortunately, he's going to get at least one attack off. And then we want this guy to uh, to kind of die, right? We're going um, to haste our fire magic. So we can fireball. Then he'll get a second turn, which he'll fireball. We'll run a growth. Earth armor again, we're down to 40, so that's important. And then we're gonna It's two rounds, right? So I'm gonna haste up this guy, because he actually does have a bit of power. So we can go a smash. Uh you're gonna use just a general recharge one, right? Because you don't need the full thing. And then you can fireball this guy to death. I thought it was meant to be two rounds, so why didn't he... Maybe I can only, like, haste one at a time. Uh, we'll smash. You should still target him, yep. Uh, multi-strike. I'm just gonna go for damage now. Fireball. Pity it didn't crit, but that's okay, because Vine Lash will actually kill it. And we are on to a win. Uh, a couple of revival flasks, worm free pods. Yeah, I could use some. And then, what have we got? We have something here. Okay, an oroculum of health. That. That's an extra 50 HP. That will solve Mike's issue. I'm happy with Mike having, like, what is it going to be? 70 or 80 health? Look, we're going to do it. Ritual Resolve for Mike. Well done, Mike. You've got unlucky. Okay. That is cool. Be nice if we had a different graphic for it. You know, just while... You know, I was admiring it earlier, the change, but it's the same one, right? So this is the speed. This is your health. Could you just, you know, just change the color? Doesn't need to be massive. I'm wondering if, as well, so the two times that I've explored a fungal chamber, there's been a guy trapped. Uh, the undercrypt one, I've had kind of boss encounters at the end. Wondering if our stone encounters all end up with like oroculums at the end. Which is, you know, cool. Cool to work that out. Yeah, okay. How are we doing for time? How are we doing for time? Yeah. Um... 48 minutes. All right. I kind of want to explore some more. Uh, I'm thinking we might even go down further down the spine here. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Not going to be the same people, though. Uh, we'll keep him. I don't mind if he dips a little bit. We'll go Isadora. We'll go Marigold. And... Um, You know what, Sonia? It's the teacher party. The teacher party shouldn't actually need anything. All right. Now, while these guys just get set up, I'm just gonna grab a drink. And where I am currently, the uh, fridge is just behind me. So, oh, good timing as well. Fantastic. Okay, these suck. Um, the hallowed ones do AOE, right? So this is a, a poor thing. We're still going to go for earth armor here. But the guy that we wanted to... 
uh, be up and about is not. We can flame lash one of them to death, which we're going to do. And then we can run conse consecrating drops on the back line, which we're going to do as well. That gives them, them some armor to resist that attack. And then we can run shield of wind on the front line. And hopefully we can take these guys out this turn. So we're going to smash. And then we'll get a flame lash. Cool. Winning. All right. We'll torrent this guy. He gets the shield. We're just going to multi-strike here. And then we'll smash and we've won. Now this one may have had consequences as well. So we get... Uh, gremlins. No, no. Yep. All right. Oh! This is as deep as the underscore goes in early access. Or now. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. So we've gone basically as far as we can. We've got another branch, basically. But and maybe that's our final underlord. Maybe. I don't know. But um, we're reaching the limits of early access. Oh, that's sad. I don't want to reach, reach the limits. I, I don't have a thorn root. <laughs> uh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it for the streams for the time being. Maybe I start another one on the harder difficulty. Make it harder to get here. I don't know. I think... I think this is a good time to pause to um, to reflect on our life choices and um, to ask the question, should I start another run of this on the hard version and uh, get us to this point again? Or should, uh, should we start streaming? Oh, there's a torch snuffer. What's that? The poltergeist. Okay. Um... Or should I, you know, should we do something else? Um, I do have Dark Fog with Dyson Sphere pro um, program to uh, to look into. I've, you know, set up a little bit of a base there as well, but uh, I haven't done much in it. And um, yeah, and th there's many, there's many, many games to play. There's always many, many games to play. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this stream, I think, because we have reached the uh, the logical extreme of the spine here, where where the door is locked, we shall not pass. And so that is going to be the end of tonight's stream. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. My name is Pooks, and I will see you in uh, either the next stream or with this game or with something else. Maybe something else. All right. Thanks again. Bye now.